the principal thing that changed from the original script, the thing that was different by the time we actually made the movie, was that there was a big twist in the end of the script. And, and we all love this uh, sort of ironic twist, and that is that there's a certain point in the script where you find out where this evil ex-showgirl wife of this owner who really knew what he was doing, who's just now inherited the club, actually does know what she's doing. We think that, as you know, we think that she's just evil and wants to undermine the club. But there's this critical point right before the end of the picture, right before the last big game with the Yankees, where the coach goes to see her and come to complain and say he's not going to put up with this anymore. Where in, And in that scene, she explains to him that she's known what she was doing all along. She knew that these were good players, only flawed, and that he was just the guy who could whip him into shape. Come on in. Oh, hi, Lou. What can I do for you? I wanted to hand in my resignation before you had a chance to fire me. Well, what, what do you mean? I know what you've been trying to do to this team. After the season, I want no part of it. <laughs> I knew I could count on Charlie to tell you. I was just afraid he'd wait too long. Why'd you want him to tell me? So you'd tell the team. Hopefully getting them mad enough so they'd knock themselves out trying to prove they belonged in this league. I think it worked. You trying to make me believe that you wanted us to win all along? Mm -hmm. Bull. What about the plane, the bus, the bad hotels? We were broke. We couldn't afford anything better. Donald left the team nearly bankrupt. If we'd had another losing season, I would have had to sell this team. I knew we couldn't win with the players we had, so I decided to get new players and see how they'd do with the proper motivation. There never was any offer from Miami. I made it all up. Why should I believe any of this? Now that we're winning, it's easy for you to jump on a bandwagon. If I really wanted you to lose, all I had to do was to send your best players back to the minors. But I didn't do that, did I? Do you think this was all an accident? I personally scouted every member of this team. Except Hayes, of course. He was a surprise. They all had flaws that concealed their real talents, or I wouldn't have been able to afford them. But I knew if anyone could straighten them out, you could. You see, I scouted you, too. And if you tell them any of this, I will fire you. Oh, Lou. I love this team. Go get them tonight. Lou? Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Good. Okay. What we had to change, what this meant was that what we had to change was the, the in the final game against the Yankees, when we cut to the owner's booth, what what we had shot was the owner being very was just being elated and cheering for no, the Indians. No, no, and we had to go back and reshoot no, that where she, every time the Indians do something good, she's very upset. The reason we changed it was that while we tested the picture with uh, that twist and it worked, we've discovered that audiences by that time really loved to hate her. I think Margaret Whitten did such a good job of making that character evil that the audiences loved to hate her. So we felt like, well, let's just give them what they want.